Hey everyone, welcome back to Barrel CNC. On today's video, we are going to cut some A2 tool steel on this 7x16 mini lathe. And we're going to do that with the multi-form system and the VersaGroup carbide tooling. And this is sort of a torture test, worst case scenario, because we have no coolant. And we've got, you know, a mount that's functional in this application, but it's not the most rigid mount in the world. It's sufficient for the low cutting pressure and the CNC control that we have in this system, but it still provides some challenges for something like tool steel. But as you'll see, it works and it gets through it. And for an R&D scenario, this is a perfect setup. So let's get started. We're using the VersaGroove style number five cutter. First thing we wanna do is set the expectations for this insanely long and narrow carbide cutter. It will absolutely break off if the conditions are not right. So please don't try this under manual control on the mini lathe unless it's with a softer material. The CNC add-on gives us some critical benefits that tip the odds in our favor when working with difficult materials on the lathe. First, we get consistent cutter motion via the CNC control. Then there's the chip clearing by quick retraction moves. And then we want to avoid pinching and chip binding by moving a little bit in the Z axis. And that provides some clearance for the cutter so that those chips can sort of sneak out through the crack that we create between the cutter and the material. And then finally, this is all achieved through small monotonous pecs that would be absolutely impossible to repeat by hand. And that's what you get with the G-code and the CNC setup. First, we're just installing this Style 5 VersaGroove tool. And there's just two little set screws we're going to tighten up on the side of that tool holder there. Now let's start the facing operation. We're going to spin up our spindle to 2400 RPM or so. It's the top end of our mini lathe. And then cycle start. So this strategy of a 5 thousandths peck on the face allows us to use this grooving tool as a facing tool and it gets the job done. But we have to do it in a very controlled manner as you see here. It's time for the parting operation. So we'll cycle start that, and the cutter's gonna move over to what happens to be 3 eighths of an inch from the origin there. And it's just going to take its time and peck its way through that steel piece. Now it is moving in X and Z, and that's very important because that allows, as we said, clearance for those chips. And that's a, an artifact of using such a narrow cutter, a 30 thousandths carbide. It's very, very delicate, so moving in both those directions is something that experimentally has worked out very well, as you can see here. Notice that vibration sound that you're hearing is due to the way that we've mounted the multi-form using risers and cross members, and we've mounted that on the bed of the mini lathe. So it's not quite as rigid as the original tool post that's on the cross slide, but provided we are careful about the amplitude of those vibrations and harmonics, we can keep our carbide tool intact. And finally, we're going to make this crazy pointed cone that we had in the little thumbnail on the video here. And this is just a series of G1 line moves, really. And the code was auto-generated by the Beryllium Pro software. So we just went into that cam menu and set it up for 5 thousandths in the X and a finishing pass of I think it was uh, three thousandths on that. And that gives us our resulting code that we run.
All right, so in conclusion here, while the parting operations are slow, they do allow our mini lathe to function much closer to a high-end CNC lathe, which helps to level the playing field for the hobbyist or small machine shop. That's it for this video. We'll catch you next time. Adios.